Hi guys, this is Dave at Concise Reviews. Today I'm going to show you how you can save a lot of money by downloading your Xbox games directly to your console and paying the prices that foreign regions and markets pay. So first off, you want to go to digitalgamesprices.com slash Xbox One. Scroll down, straight away you can see the British prices on the right are quite a bit more sometimes than some of the foreign region prices to the left of this. So you want to go to the search box, type in the game that you're after. So I'm looking for The Division, the Gold Edition. And straight off, you can see that the Argentinian price is 32.65 compared to 87.99 for the British price. So it's almost a third of the price. So to get this price, the first thing that you want to do is download an app for your phone called Revolut Foreign Exchange. This is basically a payment card that's going to allow you to buy in any market without being charged a, a foreign exchange rate or anything. So you're going to want to sign up. I've already done this, so I'll just log in. And it's all app based and free, by the way. And here on the home screen you can see my previous transactions, I've already done this, also I've got a £5 reward there, so when you top up you need to obviously cover the amount that your game costs, if it's over £10 enter the code MSE and you'll get a £5 bonus. Topping up's easy, you just use your standard bank card. Once you've done that you're going to want to go back to your browser on your PC and download Viper VPN, you can just Google this and it'll be the first result, it's uh, made by Golden Frog. So you're going to want to click try it free and download it. Once you've downloaded it, just create an account and sign in and open up the software. Then you're going to want to click this location icon, open all possible locations, and you can see there's a huge list. So you want to click the location here that matches the price that you want to pay for your Xbox One game on the other website. For me, I'm already on Argentina, so then I just click connect. And this is basically going to route me through a network in Argentina. So I'm going from my computer to Argentina to Xbox so it looks like I'm in Argentina. Then you're going to want to download Google Translate Chrome's extension. Uh, just put this into Google, uh, Google Translate Chrome extension and it will be the first result that comes up. I'd recommend getting the official Google one and then just click the add button and you'll see in the top right of your screen it's now been added to your Chrome browser. This is just going to help with some of the translations because they will probably be in a foreign language. Then you want to go to the Xbox website. I'm just having to cover up some of my personal details here. Apologies for that. And you're going to want to scroll down to the very bottom and click on the English language. Now this may have already translated to the uh, the language of your new network that you've gone through Viper VPN to. If not, just click on the language um, for the region that you're buying the game from. So Argentina in this case and then you're going to want to search for the game that you're after in the search box. You'll notice this is coming up in Spanish so this is where we use Google Translate. Don't really need to for this page but it's pretty obvious so click on the game that you want. The price will come up in the uh, currency of the region so if you want to you can just check this in a currency exchange website but it will match what's on that website. Now you see here that sometimes the Google translation doesn't really work properly so if it doesn't just click on the icon in the top right, click translate this page, give it a minute and there you go, it's translated. So once you're happy click buy now, sign into your Xbox account. course you can always translate every page every step of the way if you wish so I'm just going to log in now at this point if you don't already have a card on the system this is where you need to add the details of your Revolut payment card and you'll also need to input an address for the region that you are buying this from so you could just Google any address in that region, like a zoo or a university, and enter this. For me, I've already done it, so I'm just going to select that payment method and push continue. Of course, you can translate this page as well, just to be sure that you're paying for the right thing, I suppose. Now if it doesn't work with the translation you can copy the text, 
go to the Google Translate icon, type, paste in the text and then push translate and you'll just get a translation up there so it's just telling me now that it's going to charge my card immediately as you'd expect. And when you're happy with that, just click on continue. And then you don't need to be fluent in Spanish to know that gracias probably means that it's worked. But you can, of course, translate this page if you wish. So just select all that. Go up to the icon again. Paste it in return and there you go it is done thank you for your purchase so if you get to this point it means it's all gone through fine and the next step is that you should see it downloading onto your Xbox One console so you want to turn on your Xbox One and you'll see I've got 74% used and now it's gone up to 81.9% so you want to scroll down go to your apps and games go into your games scroll along and then you'll see your new game starting to download onto your Xbox One. So yeah, this method worked fine for me. As far as I know, there are no problems in buying your games this way, but obviously if you do, that's your choice and you're responsible. Something else you might want to consider, game developers charge different prices in different regions to maximize returns so that they can invest it in future game development. So it's your call if you do this. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more concise reviews.